For over a century, cancer researchers have been puzzled by one critical question. How do cancer cells maintain their relentless energy to divide rapidly, migrate toward blood vessels, and survive in harsh conditions that would kill healthy tissue? Scientists at Johns Hopkins Medicine have uncovered a remarkable answer that challenges everything we thought we knew about cellular energy production. Using advanced fluorescent imaging techniques, Dr. David Jean and his team tagged key enzymes in glycolysis with glowing markers and filmed breast cancer cells under a confocal microscope. What they discovered was extraordinary. Every nine minutes, a colored wave of energy-producing enzymes rolled across the cell's outer membrane in perfect synchronization. Normal breast cells showed almost no wave activity, but cancer cells displayed these rhythmic energy bands like clockwork. The more aggressive the cancer, the more waves we found on the cell surface, explained Dr. Peter Devriotis, professor of cell biology at Johns Hopkins. The team tested this across multiple cancer types, breast, liver, pancreatic, lung and colon cancers, and found that high-grade aggressive tumors pulsed with faster, brighter waves than their less dangerous counterparts. These waves solve a long-standing mystery called the Warburg effect, where tumors favor sugar fermentation even when oxygen is abundant. By positioning energy production right at the cell's edge, cancer cells can fuel the mechanical work needed for invasion and metastasis more efficiently. Cells with intense surface ripples packed 25% more energy molecules near their membranes and produced up to one-third of their total energy in these outer zones rather than deep inside the cell. When researchers blocked these waves using a marine-derived molecule called latrunculin A, local energy production dropped by 25% and cell invasion slowed dramatically within minutes. This discovery, published in Nature Communications, opens exciting possibilities for new cancer treatments. Rather than targeting the entire cell's metabolism, doctors could potentially disrupt just these energy waves, creating wave breakers that starve tumors without harming healthy tissue. The waves could also serve as a new staging tool, helping clinicians gauge whether a tumor is primed for spread without waiting for complex genomic tests. For more on this story, find a link to the article on earth.com in the description.